A young girl who was a student leader during her school days in the 80s is now a crusader for thousands of adolescent girls from the underprivileged communities. Dr. Mamata Raghuveer is a child rights activist and founder of the NGO Taruni. She has advocated many programs for improving the lives of adolescent girls and women of Telangana state in South India. As we have two children, a boy and a girl, with an age difference of nearly two years, we have from the beginning the concept that they should be brought up in equal range in status now. And the boy must know, he must learn, that his sister is in no way less in status and privilege and rights. If this is, this is the essence of bringing up uh, two children, boy and girl. Mamata is a child also. She was very, very active. Uh, she started helping in the, from the school itself. She started helping her friends whenever they are in need. When she started joining intermediate, she, I have given her a bike on which she was traveling one day. On the way, somebody took her veil. Then I told her, you must be very uh, brave in all these things. Don't get upset. Immediately I asked her to learn karate. Having learned self-defense mechanisms at a young age, she felt the need to impart the same to the adolescent girls who are part of the girls' collectives formulated by her NGO. My husband, he is the reason for uh, starting this uh, uh, organization. When he was working in uh, Women and Child Welfare as project director, he saw so many things in the communities, do something for the society. So that's how we started Taruni. But later on, uh, I had many mentors uh, like uh, Sudha Murali from UNICEF, um, Kulsum Ali Abbas from the World Bank project, then uh, so many others who actually, uh, you know, given me ideas, given me support. When I was working as a director of Women Development and Child Welfare, um, I've seen uh, a lot of uh, women uh, in need of help and support as well as we had uh, schemes for adolescent girls. So I was telling Mamta there is a lot of scope uh, if we can work on empowerment of the adolescent girls and make them uh, do much better. And after uh, I got transferred to Warangal, we were actually looking at uh, nutrition health education in uh, schools, especially government schools. So there uh, we came across uh, not only uh, the nutrition anemia related issues but also one of the child marriage issues where many uh, teachers were saying we get at least uh, four or five uh, uh, wedding invitations in a year from uh, girls in classes 6th and 7th and uh, school dropout is a major issue so then Mamta went on to uh, that particular area. Dr. Mamata strongly believes that the dreams of young adolescent girls from the rural villages and the tribal hamlets have always beckoned her vision to march forward untiringly, irrespective of the challenges which she has been facing during her journey of social service. See, being a woman that too in a social work field, coming from a family where uh, my husband is a bureaucrat, my father was a judge and uh, not affluent but uh, well settled a family. It was very difficult for me to understand the poverty and also work with the drowned trodden and the tribals and all these people initially. Second thing was the major challenge was uh, why this lady is interested in working with all this. Maybe she has intention of joining politics or some other uh, selfish motive behind this. Uh, that's what people thought. I had to prove myself always that uh, I have a passion and uh, I am committed to this work and uh, that's why I am working. Uh, third um, uh, hurdle was uh, getting funds. People said an officer's wife she is doing, why should we give funds to her? Fourth thing was, uh, uh, you know, I am working not on a 
uh, very comfortable easy uh, issues. It, these are the issues which are uh, very delicate and uh, complicated and uh, we cannot see the results just like that instantly. We all know that uh, she kept aside her comfortable cozy life of a civil servant's wife, tried to go to the villages, dusty villages where <coughs> the girl children, poor girl children require some sort of assistance so that their lives will be bettered. Daruni today is a name where everybody talks about and I am so happy that uh, she pursued her passion, ideas by promoting uh, the girl children welfare, not only about the child, not only about the early marriages, but education, uh, health, nutrition, so many other things she is, try she is trying to propagate so that the children will be definitely uh, have a better life than where they were. Dr. Mamata has been instrumental in stopping many child marriages, leading to a new law in the year 2006. Called the Prohibition of Child Marriages Act, the enforcement of this law is now enabling many adolescent girls to lead the lives they truly deserve. Dr. Mamata fought many public interest litigations to safeguard the interests of the girl child in all possible ways. Ada Pilla Vishemlo, Maraka Kiran Bedilag and Pistar, Intenti, Kara Samasuchan or Meda Murko Kunda, A Samas and Etla, Ada Pilla and Etla Valani, A Samas and Beta Badial and Edu Alachis Sunta in the country, Arozula Lone, Meda Mu, Ever can a chin Atlantic girl children key a face chest to Nadal, Inclover Bit Kuneval, Meda, Inclover to Kuni, while a Kausan went to Mandi Sadpali, but a Masan to Anni Jesunde, Meda Mu. Kabati made a chala mandi inspiration and Mamta has been uh, really uh, an active partner in my professional service also, forest protection. There were many instances where she actually travelled with me to the forest area, Barangal, when I was conservator of forest. Uh, Mamta and my kids, two kids, we were uh, returning from Pasra. Normally, the entire family was taking part in forest protection, uh, stopping forest fires, and then no, a lot of active. Uh, um, role they played. To me, she, to, she is a role model herself. What she has to offer in terms of insights is unparalleled. I think that is uh, what a lot of people can learn from her. Her approach to work, it is very scientific, it is well thought through, the programs are planned very well and implemented so that, so that all the, you know, a range of diverse stakeholders are addressed. Dr. Mamata Raghuveer, currently serving as the technical director of Bharosa, the rape crisis centers of the Telangana police. When I visited uh, in 2009, uh, uh, US, United uh, States of America, uh, during the program called uh, IVLP, International Visitor Leadership Program, US state government selects a few people to undergo training or um, you know exposure, uh, giving, uh, getting exposure into their uh, initiatives. So that's how I went to US on human trafficking. Uh, I had visited uh, a place called Chadwick Center, uh, Chadwick Child Abuse uh, uh, Center in um, San Diego. And uh, when I saw that center, it is a actually uh, 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 it is associated with an hospital, Raddy, Raddy Children's Hospital. Uh, there, uh, a child abuse victim when she comes entire process goes on there, even the court happens there in a very child friendly manner. The beauty of uh, Bharosa is the uh, convergence between so many departments and corporates, NGOs, that is how it has been very successful. Bharosa was in Taravata, Dairanga, Madagar, Kochi victims, Valakanjar, and then the clear Manto Chepukutuna, friendly counter, Madagaruna. Employees could have all the baga association, I valid the Ganundi and Nivishal Rabati, case law conviction of Chela Krushes Tunar. In spite of having won many accolades at national and international levels, Dr. Mamata feels that there is a lot more to be done for the welfare of the girl child and women. There is no end actually. I feel still there is a lot of discrimination uh, in digital literacy. I feel that uh, uh, each uh, computer costs so much, a tab costs so much and uh, most of the girls are not able to utilize, use them. 
I feel that government should uh, uh, cut down the taxes and um, make them uh, available for uh, all uh, so that these girls can utilize the uh, technology. And second thing is uh, see that the girls are safe in uh, cyberspace so that uh, uh, they can uh, use all the social platforms or other technologies safely and um, uh, you know you, you utilize them for their development. Uh, she is a mother to several people, several girls, more than 20,000 girls and, and uh, she has been uh, a really sort of a light uh, in their lives. My goal is software engineer. My goal is to donate 10% to the salary of these rural girls. I have a few days to donate to these rural girls. I have a success in their development and success. I have a good deal. I have a good deal. Here's wishing Dr. Mamata great success in achieving many more milestones as she continues to crusade for the rights of adolescent girls and women.